on the ninth in the sixth of May, twenty twelve. Looking at the Sunday Independent and the Sunday Business Post and McDonald's, where we color. Must look at the face of Eva Eva Cavanaugh on the front page of the Sunday Independent, as the top item on that paper deals with her resignation. Her resignation from the primetime investigates where the morning Ireland roles that she had in RTE, the National Broadcaster of, Art, of, of Ireland. So Eva walks, and inside the Sindo, they kind of like go through a chronology of events, what happened on a failed investigation of an allegation against Father Kevin Reynolds. I'm sorry, Father Sean Reynolds. No, Father, Father Kevin Reynolds, who um, was piled upon with an allegation about fathering a child in Kenya. Now, if you go through the Sindo, you get more salacious details, perhaps. What I did was I had a look at the news section of the Sunday Business Post, where a telling piece of information emerges on the heels of a promise made um, by the broadcaster RTE, a promise made for an external investigation. And here is the important piece of information that would, would concern me as a taxpayer someone who paid for this investigation. The final report on Aoife's role in a misplaced trust of um, causality. You know, uh, she misplaced through what they call a groupthink mentality. Misplaced her the credibility of some witnesses. And the report into what happened says, there is no indication that Aoife Kavanaugh, an experienced reporter, who was working on her first Primetime Investigates program, had studied the relevant RTE guidelines before making the documentary. And the report also acknowledges that there were no guidelines in existence on investigative program making. But there's also something that bothers me a little bit. I'm wondering how much of the team behind that Primetime Investigates program were new to the business. I mean, were they, were they hired in to make it, to make it more, uh, more compelling a piece of journalism? Or were they looking for a splash and dash? The RTE Legal Affairs Department became involved in the Reynolds case very late on. And if I were to believe some of the media show podcasts with um, Helen Shaw, Aoife uh, kept emails from the solicitor of Kevin Reynolds and never, uh, never passed them on to the to the solicitors. So as a result, what you normally what you have then is a line of authority which stops and starts at the reporter who acts in good faith and doesn't ask for corroboration outside the channels that she nurtured so well. Eva, good luck to wherever you go. Um, sorry to leave, sorry to watch her leave, but it's happened to the best of this. Serious splashdowns, knockdowns. You can get more information about what I think about journalism and the news on my blog at insideview.ie. I'm recording this on audioboo.fm stroke top goal if you'd, if you'd prefer a cleaner audio sound. I'm burning all back on top code on Twitter. Good luck, Eva. Bye for now.